National Digital Library, the way we are trying to put it, is not really creating a new library, but it's about uh, India with the diversity of uh, variety of institutions and at varied levels, with the diversity of uh, geographic, linguistic, vernacular studies, already have a large volume of electronic documents, electronic content, which uh, students at, as uh, Professor Chattopadhyay was saying, from KG to BG level, could use more effectively. There has been a lot of initiatives by, uh, particularly by NMEICT, who are also sponsoring this project. NMEICT is a mission under Ministry of HRD. Its full form is the National Mission on Education through Information and Communication Technology. They have been funding different projects to create a lot of uh, contents, digital content at multiple levels. NCRT has been doing a lot of uh, their school level books. Several other institutional and uh, different members are generating content. But the reality is that contents are either locked in some small servers of the institution or they are available only inside the institute's network or even the contents which are available on the net, so to say, the hosted contents, for looking up them, you will need to know where do I find this content. Will this be available in the NUJS portal? Or will this be available in the EMS portal? Will this be available in terms of the IIT Bombay portal and so on? So there is a large availability of content already that exists. But there is a complete fragmentation of that knowledge base. So NDL's primary objective is to integrate. So that we want to provide one common platform, one common portal, the, the vision that uh, our director started this project with that it will be one portal where somebody can sit down, try to look for the educational material, learning material, and it will tell us what material on that subject or on those focus areas are available and who has them. Now, beyond that, it may be possible to directly access the full text because there are licensing issues as well. A lot of material we attract that are created by NMEICT and uh, different institutional contributors, teachers and so on are free of any encumbrances of copyright, so they can be directly used. But there are material which will have license issues. So whether we can use some material in full text or not is a matter of further depth. But the first thing that the user will get to see is where the relevant material are available in terms of the content, in terms of information. And we will provide specific link as to if something is not directly downloadable from here, then where can you, whom can you ask for institutionally to get that out? And the second major aspect that uh, we have been envisaged is, as Professor Chattopadhyay was saying, this is not a Google. Google can take a couple of keywords, found out from the document through different mining techniques, and give us one million bits of where this happens. And really, we see beyond the third page. So, but it does not. It is completely based on what you find in the content. It does not attempt to ask. What am I looking for? It does not want to model the user in the whole space. So if I say magnetism and physics and do Google, then if I do Google, whatever I get, a eighth standard student, if he does a Google, he will get the same thing. If a uh, undergraduate student uh, does it, he gets the same answer and so on. We want to bring this user perspective in India. So user should be able to specify not only what he is looking for, but his learning expectations, the level at which he or she is studying, the kind of difficulty, difficulty level of document that he or she is looking for. And we are trying to bring all those into this uh, NDL uh, project. So these are, these are some of the very basic objectives with which we have started. Of course, uh, it is uh, significantly PPC's vision. So I would request PPC to share that in a, in a much broader way. I'm just giving you the glimpses of uh, what we have got started with. The project has got uh, approved. I was uh, after we had long, you know, usual long sessions of 
uh, deliberations with the ministry and due diligence after that the project has now got approved, we have got started and that's uh, where the, where we have a number of staff, we are adding on more staff and we have the office that for which we are doing this inauguration now. And we are looking forward to, some uh, previews have already been done by the HIT minister and we, we are looking forward to that in about six months time we should be able to do a public launch of a very elementary level of the National Digital Library and then keep on adding more and more documents to it. And more, most importantly that though this has started as a three year project, uh, what uh, I really feel excited about is this whole objective is not to just uh, find a number of digital documents into one portal. But the whole objective is to create a process and across different institutions, hundreds of institutions, so that we can make National Digital Library a kind of a movement. So that everybody will, will whenever somebody is generating some learning material, then the attempt would be that how can we connect it to NDL so that it can be useful to the readers, to the students at large. And if we can make that movement work, because certainly IIT Kharagpur alone cannot make all contents available for all subjects at all levels all the time. You can, you can do it in, in bus for, for a while, but it has to be sustainable. So we will look forward to creating that movement and we need all of your help uh, in that. I really thank you all for having taken. I, I, know, I know this is a bad time in the semester, really one of the worst times where at least the faculty are really time pressed, but that you have taken the time off. I'm really grateful to you all. And uh, thank you very much.